everybody, my name is Madeline. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I do a lot of sewing, traveling, and eating food all over the world. And today is gonna be a very short tutorial. I'm gonna show you how I turned this fuzzy stocking that I ended up thrifting the other day into some really cozy, warm earmuffs for the holiday season. So I'm actually trying to get this done this morning. I only have about an hour and a half, so we'll see how this goes. So let's get started. Okay, so for this project, you'll need whatever fuzzy material. In this case, I'm using a stocking. You'll need a headband. You'll need some form of hot glue gun, or you can use a needle and thread, all depending. You'll need some scissors. You'll need some form of earmuffs you already have just to look at them, or you can look at pictures online. And you'll need a sewing machine. I went ahead and plugged my hot glue gun in because it takes a while to heat up and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut circles out of this stocking and then we will go ahead and sew them together. Okay so this must look very very confusing on camera but this is the stocking completely seam ripped and my plan is to go ahead and cut two circles out of this and I'll be using the tape roll to mark the circles and then I'll be cutting two circles out of this. Now my intention is to make these circles slightly smaller than these ones because these will be the inside of the earmuffs and this will be the outside of the earmuffs. All right, let's get started. Here's those two circle pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and cut them a little bit wider than the outline. Now we're gonna go ahead and repeat this process on the fuzzy material. Here's the pieces drawn, now let's cut them out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sew around these and leave a little gap so I can stuff it before flipping it inside out. I'm gonna use this batting and cut a little bit of a smaller circle to fit inside the earmuff. Now that I've sewn both circles, I'm gonna go ahead and flip them inside out. Now I'm gonna stuff it with this batting and a little bit of stuffing. Okay, so here is the stuffed earmuff with the batting and the stuffing in it, and now we're gonna go ahead and work on the headband portion. We are gonna go ahead and wrap this batting around the rim of the headband just for a little bit of extra stability. Okay, yes, I understand it looks really wonky, but this shouldn't matter in the end. Here is the batting glued onto the headband, and now we're gonna use this leftover lining material and wrap it around the top. And to secure it, we're gonna use a little bit of hot glue. Now this is only optional, but because I had a plastic headband, I wanted it to look a little bit sturdier and feel a little bit sturdier in the end. But in reality, all I did was end up wrapping the headband lengthwise with the material, covering the ends by folding them over, and then gluing the insides together so it would remain a nice neat finished edge okay so now that i have glued the material onto the headband i'm gonna go ahead and finish the side i've already started it uh, by sewing a finishing seam if you can see that that's what it looks like so let's go ahead and finish that here's that headband completely sewn and now we're gonna go ahead and add the ear muff circle things to the sides so all i've done here is shoved the headband portion about half an inch inside the earmuff hole that I left when I was sewing it. And all we're gonna do is sew up the sides and attach it to the headband so that it doesn't wiggle around. Okay, unfortunately we ran into a problem. So originally I was intending to bring these earmuffs with me to a Christmas market. However, in the process of driving to the location, the headband ended up snapping. So what I ended up doing instead was thrifting a new headband that was a little bit wider and then doing the exact same thing I described a minute ago. But anyway, that's all you do to make easy peasy earmuffs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what our final results looks like. If you really enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, and please share it. I love sewing and I love making videos for you guys. Well, that's it. Have a nice day and I'm glad you tuned into this video. Bye-bye.